Hey yeah, guys, welcome back first from my Mafia Definitive Edition. In the last video, we were supposed to meet with the uh, Canadians. Fortunately, a lot of them perished. We also got caught up with a freaking lot of police. And it turns out we killed the freaking police in the freaking uh, mission there. So we had to deal with a freaking huge police chase, including a freaking. I wouldn't say SWAT van because I don't think they had SWAT back in the day. Just one of those armored police cars. Our trucks but we took it out so that's that Sammy he got messed up pretty bad so he's at the freaking medic or doctor place his own personal mafia doctor oh crap so that's that's land so down oh my god bad freaking break hey when um we're gonna help her back to um Sarah's apartment is that is exactly what we're trying to do we're gonna skip the drive make this much 10 times faster Just the radio talking about the president's inauguration or something like that. History related. Alright. Let's go meet up with Sarah. Kick our feet back and just chill out. That was a crazy freaking night, man. Let's go. I had to get his hands dirty. Now we won't work, man. You gotta get your hands dirty. You'll be looking dirty when you come home. Depending on where you work at. So I guess the blood counts. Hmm. Armida. Hey, boss. Came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. Damn, yeah, man. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. And fled. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. 
Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown. Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. Oh, shoot. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Yeah, since there were kids, man. Waiting for you with a clean car. He's been like known for like 50 years. What he means by kid, like what? Well, people say you're still a kid in your early 20s. Well, not really. You're an adult, but it's like, you know, you're still kind of like a kid. But you're not kid, kid. But if he's been doing this stuff since he was a kid, that's crazy. Yeah, a little, a little mafia. Like your first time being a, like a mafia boss as a little kid. <laughs> We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. Maybe like when he was 19 or something like that, or early 20. Something special here, if you want it. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right, whatever age he was. Ah, pawn shop, all the way down there. Let's go take our ride. Oh, nice vehicle. A uh, BDS. And now for the latest news. What are you talking about now? Today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the of New Jersey coast Tuesday morning. A New Jersey coast. Yeah, I'm from there. I'm in New Jersey. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know much about that little history there. The the what year is this? Uh, what year is this freaking time right now? I leave forgot what year is say this chapter. German tanker. Trying to, did the war start yet? No, I don't think so. I gotta look at that year again. That just popped up on chapter. Maybe when the next chapter starts and I see the year, I like, let me see what's going on here. Alright, we're back here again. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Okay, there you go. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks for information. And 40 bucks back then? Pretty much a lot for its time. I mean, it doesn't make you rich, rich, but you know, it was a lot for its time. Pretty sure a lot of things for like a cent or something. Like, did they, did they have like any candy bars back in the day, like in the 1930s? If they did, that thing probably would have been like cheap as heck. I'm pretty sure they only cost it like cents in the uh, what 80s or 70s like that but back here I mean if they were around there this time they would have been cheap as heck and what inflation does to love awesome things they're talking about now on the radio Oh, doesn't really catch my attention here. Let's get to driving. 
I mean, I like more into like war history, so whatever they say on the radio doesn't really catch my attention. All right, we're here. Hello, lady. Just uh, keep on sleeping. Hey, pull. Okay, Tom. Nah, no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into pen. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Yeah, long story. Got a mole upon this man. Frank down flood. Oh, on to the safe house. Yeah, we'll just go this way. Oh, let's go on the radio. Just music. Maybe only two stations available. I still got looked that up though. Did they really only have two radio stations back then? It had to be more than that. Maybe this maybe three. Man, but what a nice freaking view from here. And on the water, the boat still looks freaking nice. Let's get to driving here. I have nothing else to say along the way, so when I do missions. The activities and games, it helps me create new conversations. Looks like the place. Oh, what a nice house. And so did a good job wearing them flowers. Looks so nice. Oh. I guess I have to follow him, but to keep a distance. Oh, I have to make a U-turn, I see. I guess that mirror determines on if we're getting too close. Frank. And we got the cops nearby, too. But they don't care what's going on. Okay, you just have to make a little pit stop. I don't see no traffic light. It's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. Oh, 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 don't get too close. Let me thank today's other sponsors. Don't make it too obvious. And Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. But then that car does look sharp. With promising youngsters set around them. He's in. Of course, to Smith and Seidel. The cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. Yeah, where you're heading to, man? Come on, all I gotta do is like that. He's heading this way. Yo, I thought, I thought the tarp was broken on that truck for a minute. Maybe like a little glitch or something. Okay, made it right. A follow ahead. Oh, come on, move it. Move it, AO. Move. Just the ambulance. That was a truck for a minute. Probably. Airport. Yeah, the sign says airport. Is that where he's going, I think? We're like in a trolley way. Oh, 
I don't think I see a single traffic light, man. When were they invented again? I gotta look it up. Man, where you're taking us, man? Yeah, I'm a bit bored here. I'll try to. Oh, there's traffic lights. Oh, then. I guess you're trying to really flood, like, get away. Uh, talking about sports. Not too much in the sports like that. I, mean, I did play indoor soccer when I was a lot younger, but I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm not too big on sports. I only did it just to, you know, meet more people, even like you know, get more friends and stuff like that. Just trying to fit in, you know, back in middle school, but that was a long time ago. And it's far away. I gotta start going to malls more often to hang out sometime. Jeez. This airport must be far. Oh, here it is. The airport. Oh, that's just a sign, but that means we're almost there. Alright, so it's on this path. Come on, Frank, don't leave us, man. Can't really blame him, but. Once the mafia, once you leave it, they're gonna hunt you down. Gotta park the car in the hidden location. This should be good. Oh, a nice looking airport. Got a lot of cops protecting it, too. I mean, it was probably like that to this very day. But after, uh, after a century later, that's when it gets more protection. Mm, can't go that way. I think we'll get caught. I have to find some other way to get in there. We're gonna sneak through. This way is better. Man, airports are so different back in the day. As the decades went by, they got bigger. But I think they were still new at the time, though. Like, this was like kind of like a new thing. Oh, nice. Eric place to sneak in. I'm just a staff member. I'm just here for an interview. Is he upstairs? Is the cop upstairs? Okay, he's not. One down here at the front section. Right there's some guy with feds are handing over before he's flown out. I was saved. The cops are downstairs. That's a very nice chandelier. Yeah, we got to reverse one cup up here, but we should be good. Maybe there's a room we could check. What about this room? No, and go that way. He's watching over the top section. That's not openable. Okay, maybe the other side. That's a good question. Oh, mailman. Ah, here we go. 
Airport notice to all workers at the request of the FBI, all flights are suspended. Normal shows will resume once the operation has ended. Please keep passengers at a safe distance from the airport. Okay, so everything is mostly blocked off and only for Frank. He's heading up to Hangar 5. Why don't go head back downstairs and hurry up and get some? That's what I'm freaking questioning, man. Yeah, but these floors look nice. I'm not going that way because we'll get spotted that way. But man, going this direction would be the only way to get there. He's behind the. As long as you stay at distance. You don't see nothing. This might be blind. Oh, he's coming over. Oh no. Oh boy. It's, if he's as long as he stays on that side, we can move over a little bit. Too fast, Tommy. Tommy, what the freak was that? Oh come on! Oh for Christ's sake! Dang it. I don't know why I thought he was in the- You know how most games where the character can just slide over against the wall? Like go around it, but not too fast? Dang it. Ah, uh, I didn't make it hard for myself. Now I gotta kill cops now. I thought it was gonna be the case where he was just slide over a little bit. Shoot through the window. Never mind, he coming in. Watch that way too. I should have freaking equipped myself. Oh my god, you don't feel it. I thought he was dead. We can just take the other weapons while we're at it. I can't grab it, but I don't be on the open. This is a freaking disaster. Nice, we got him. Alright, let me go take a Tommy gun or something. Can we grab that? Pick it up. Yes, please. Tommy gun. Nice. Hit a better shot. Go. Ah. Oh, that's close. You probably have to freaking shoot them anyway. Because, like, if they seen us out, out running in the open, they're as far us. Oh, man. I got out of ammo. Grab another. Oh, we could switch it. Or revolver, but no. Nah, I like the fast guns. We got ammo down there we can collect. Hop over quickly. One guy on the side. Get down, Tommy. I'll shoot that old gas tank. Need the ammo. Quickly, grab it. Good. One guy's still alive here. He's on the other side. Nope. He's there. Move up. Ooh. Almost close to death. Don't heal up. Uh oh, close call. Let's keep pushing. I oh, look at them planes, man. I can't shoot for crap. Oh, one guy's there too. 
Oh man, I'm dead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Tommy, I'm a dead man. I'm dead. Well, good news. We spawned up here, so I guess we'll try this again. I didn't even know, I didn't even bother coming up here. Wow. I did not know we can go in the balcony here, man. Jump through the window. Never even knew about it. Come on. Did not even know. A perfect place to freaking shoot them. Nice. There we go. I'm behind the car. Did you just run out of ammo? Let's go collect some more. No, he ran out. Okay, not the. We're going back down. This is ridiculous. I have to make it hard for myself. And a shotgun like this thing here? You need to get close for something like this. Using pistols and the other guns. Like, this is a freaking ranged combat here. I could get ammo from over there. Hit the wrist. Yeah. Closer. No, oh boy. Not back it up. Get more ammo. Run. Yes, got more. Perfect. Let's make these freaking bullets count. Get closer, someone wants to waste it. Dang it. I shouldn't do it. One guy's on the freaking car. How did. Oh, I'm gonna open. Get down, man. And I got some really low health, too. Come on, peek your head out. I can see if I don't want to waste that bullet. There we go. Come on, give me some better healing, man. Ah, uh, I thought I was going to have to aim up. Oh, oh no. We're dead. We're dead. Rest in peace. I know he's gonna freaking try to shoot me from behind. This man doesn't want to show himself now out of all times. Show yourself already. What the freak kind of why are you aiming that way, man? There we go. Got a freaking headshot on him. Shoot. That's not even freaking close enough. Come on. I came so freaking unprepared. Come on, don't we a little freaking slow now. Hurry up. Yes. Oh, shoot. Hurry up, Tommy. Hurry up. Frank, the Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. 
I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Wow. Nice one, man. I think that's the second person we let go so far. But eventually they will find out, man. I was going to get the account books in the bank, but man, that fire at the airport was crazy. I was terrible at that. The safety deposit boxes with my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. All right, nice looking bank. Hater, uh, security. Just enjoy my own day. Nothing suspicious. Beautiful day. Hello there, sir. Uh huh. Yep, really nice day. Just had to go do a lot of crazy things. Yep, just keep protecting the bacon. Keep it nice. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Who? Lead the way. And nowadays, you just do things digitally a lot often. These with the old fashioned. I mean, we still do these in banks today, but you know, we use digital stuff now. I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, Apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Wow. Get rid of the evidence. Just died in the fire. That's the cover up. Not a bad lie. Your 
You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by the pair of specs, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. That mustache still with that guy on the freaking race side. That's complete. Amerta. I probably said it wrong. I don't know. All right, visiting the rich people in 1933. What's about to happen now? The music's intense. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now oh, Watkins yeah. is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. The Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. See, si. who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy, Tommy Angelo. Piacere, dear. The conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> I have no idea what they said. I can't speak Italian, but I wish I understood it. But anyway, guys, we're going to stop right here. We'll continue on into the next video. Later.